And as welcome back to another Elite Dangerous live stream with Commander Shinakuma. So tonight we're going to be doing a little bit different. There are no new money grinds that I'm aware of. I've, I've had a look. There isn't anything better than um, Maya and Rubigo. So I'm going to do something a little bit different tonight, which is a, um, a combat stream in my shiny new crate. Um, I am still in the process of engineering it. So it's not quite perfect yet. Got a tiny little bit extra to do. Then we'll take it out for a spin. Let's see if I have completely wasted my time or not. Right, so at the moment, I'm just trying to scoop up a couple more core dynamic components because all that's left to engineer is the armour on the ship. I'm not going overboard with it, but I do want some armour in case the shields go down, and then I'll, um, I'll run through the full build, see what you think, see if you like it, see if you hate it, and then we'll see if it works. It could be an entire waste of time, but we'll see. So at the moment, we're just cruising for high-grade emissions. Not the most enthralling gameplay in the world, but if you want core, core dynamic composites, you got to grind to get them, which is a pain, but it's true nonetheless. Evening everyone, thanks for joining. To so say, just finishing up engineering the crate, and then we'll take it out for a spin and see if um, see if it's any good. Could be crap. I may immediately hate it. Problem is when you have um when you already have a really, really strong combat ship using anything different is you wish you were in the other ship if you start losing. I'm not going to spend too long doing this. I think I picked up a few before I started streaming. Let's, um, let's see. Yeah, I've got 16, so I would love one more spawn. So I'll probably spend a couple of minutes seeing what I can find, and then I'll um, I'll just sack it. Go to Celine Jean and um, see what we can't do with this armor. sources at the moment. So for those of you who have ever struggled to find high grade emissions, um, probably core dynamic composites, imperial shielding, um, pharmaceutical isolators, amongst others, the best way to do it is fly 100k from the main star, slow down to about 100c, 130c, and this is where you're going to find the highest concentration of high-grade emissions. Now, that's not to say that you won't find any before that. Um, but they are most concentrated out at a far distance from the star. <laughs> would be lovely if one just jumped into my lap. Come on, computer. Be nice. Be kind. It's 20 past 8, at least it is in the UK. So I'm going to give it another 4 minutes and then I'm just going to sack it off. Just go and work with what I've got. Resistance wise at the moment, it's not too bad. So I've got a thousand with at least 50% resistance across the board. So those shields are going to take some budging. And as we're only going to be doing PvE combat, not PvP, if my shields 
did happen to go down, I'm more than likely to jump out. Just finished my new weapons on my chieftain. Been able to. <laughs> yeah, it's. Um, I've got an interesting weapon loadout on this. Um, I'm not. You'll see when I. Um, oh, I grade. That'll do. You'll see. See what you think when I um, finally deploy it. It's. Um, I would call it an amateur setup, but it's not the usual multi cannon and beam lasers. So, um, my opinion at the least, it's a little bit special, but um, we'll see. Oh, I hate it when it does this a double, double emission spawn. I have to look what the other one is. Of course they're both flipping high grade. <sighs> Original or second one? Let's go for the second one that popped up. Swear to God, if this is proto light alloys, I'm gonna say swear words. Oh, you motherfucker. Don't need those, you twat. Okay, I've got precisely one minute to find another high-grade emission. Otherwise, I'm just going to um, take off to Celine Jean anyway and work with what I've got. Like I say, I'm not really hanging around in a shieldless ship. That's not the plan, so it might not be the end of the world. One more. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, <laughs> just as I was about to leave, we've got one more shot. Is this high grade or not? We'll never know because some idiot is doing 600C. So of course I've passed it in an instant. Okay, my fault, my problem. Right, let's go. No one choned in to watch someone cruising for high grade emissions. That's um, dull. So let's uh, sack that off. <laughs> Celine Jean, where are you? There you are. Too harsh, five jumps. I always find just to rub salt in just before you're about to jump, you get signal source pop up. Then just attempt to out of your jump, but I'm not I'm not falling for it this time, computer. I'm leaving. Right, something that I've um, kind of covered in previous videos but then got distracted by other stuff, so I'm going to do it now whilst it's nice and peaceful. It's A lot of people have asked me, how do you get that dot in the centre of your screen? It's not, um, it's not there normally and it's not exactly easy to find, um, but it is fantastic for fuel scooping because you can stay on the periphery of the star without um, intruding into the exclusion zone by accident. So here's what you do. You press start. This is PlayStation 4, of course. You go to Options, 
you go to controls you go to miscellaneous and you look for screen center dot which is right there there you go select on or off as you so desire and your little dot will appear it's a fantastic tool it helps um, get out of the mail slot of stations so generally speaking so long as the screen center dot is touching the blackness of space um, you're going to fit through that mail slot in the center and um, as we orbit this other star i'll show you the advantages of that Here we go. So normally we'd have the exclusion zone and it'd be a gamble about exactly where it was. But I can put this dot here and be 100% assured never going to go into that exclusion zone. Actually, the reason my fuel scoop's not working is because I turned it off. Oh yes, lots and lots of engineering on this crate. I'll cover it once we land at um, Celine G. <laughs> Thanks very much for the watch, most appreciated. It's like being on telly whilst you're on telly. That's a big bugger. Where's the exclusion zone? Doesn't matter because destination is behind us anyway. Hello and thank you to everyone for joining us who's watching so far. Tonight we are finishing off the final touches on my shiny new crate. Then we're going to take it out and see how well my weapon loadout works. In my head, it's going to work really well. The reality is I'm probably going to be pay facing um, a 10 million rebuy. That's not a problem. It's, it's, it's only pretend money. It's only a bit of fun. haven't named the crate either. So um, if you've got any um, fantastic name suggestions, please feel free to say them. Go ruder and more disgusting the better ah it's a top secret you will see shortly <laughs> Kratos <laughs> Or you could call it the Christopher Judge and see how many people get the reference. Right. Oh shit, I forgot this bitch lives 12,000 light years seconds out. Why can't you live near the star? So a sneak peek of the weapons. Um, so we've got shield cell banks. We've got some advanced plasma accelerators. And we've got some beam lasers. Um, so it gives you an idea of what, what I've got in mind. Shield boosters. And then the usual stuff you would expect to find. And then some stuff that I've used for collecting, which... Um, I'm going to strip off and add some 
other things. And a Guardian reinforced module. But, ah, pretty good at the moment. I haven't actually unlocked the Guardian FSD booster yet. I probably should because I've got room for it. This crate has only got 22 light years, which is not bad for a fully outfitted combat ship, if I'm honest. It's at the upper end of what you'll get out of a combat ship of this um, of this type. But still, more is better. Yeah, you, you're right. Um, now, if I was, if I had geared this ship up for PvP, I would 100% have Target Lockbreaker on there. But as all I'm doing at the moment is um, is going for PVE, I have put uh, Plasma Slug on because um, although yeah, sure, it zaps 10% of the weapon's power, but you can stay out effectively unlimited. Um, you're only limited by your fuel. See, I was tempted to go on multi cannons, but the thing is, my Corvette, which is um, unbeatable in PVE, um, already has um, the perfect setup on, and I didn't want to get another ship and just put a carbon copy of what I've got on the um, on the Corvette, because where's the fun in that? I thought I might as well make a prat out of myself um, and put the weapon that I'm absolutely worst with on and see what happens. No, the, um, well, yes and no. So if I were to, if I were to synthesize some premium plasma ammunition with plasma slug I would have unlimited um, premium ammo until I docked as soon as you dock you lose a privilege but whilst it's actually on the ship it will reload over and over now I have said that out loud it's been a long time since I've used premium ammo with plasma slug so I might actually test that on tonight's stream because I, I wouldn't like to say it and not hear it. So every single time. I mean, I could do it, but I have um, I do have a previous video called um, "Making Money uh, Flying." wing assassination missions alone and that's before they got nerfed you used to be able to make about seven million from the wing assassination missions um, but frontier nerfed them down to about two and a half million each um, i don't know why you can make more money as a single player now as you can in a wing which doesn't make too much sense for me but then again that's probably why i don't work for um, frontier i'd get fired for being too sensible I'm sure there's method in their madness. Right. Come on, slow down your big bucket of crap. That'll do. That 
Celine Jean marker as well. Up, isn't it? Watch the pretty view. Right, so in terms of outfitting, hard points, I have got three advanced plasma accelerators, all with grade 5 rapid fire with the plasma slug um, modification. So I can basically fire out plasma at a ridiculous rate, uh, rate. Now, of course, that does create some type of heat problem. So what I've equipped here are two beam lasers to um, although they're not as powerful as fixed but what they have got is the thermal vent they're grade 5 efficient with thermal vent so so long as I'm shooting a target and landing hits I'm going to be dissipating all of the heat that my plasma plasma accelerators are going to be generating so one effect is going to cancel out the other so I can effectively spam the plasma cannon at a stupid rate without cooking myself or at least that is the plan Utility mounts, all shield boosters, um, a combination of um, resistance and heavy duty. That gives me, I think we looked at this before, total shield strength of 1000 with 51% kinetic, 57% thermal resistance and 64.9 explosive resistance. And of course, next we've got our um, armor, which is exactly why we're here. Um, core, everything that you would expect, um, reactive service, power plant, every, everything's basically maxed out to the highest it can possibly be, power distributor, um, rapid um, charge enhanced with superconduits, and optional internal we have got a 6A shield generator, a 6B shield cell bank. The reason why we have a B instead of an A is A has slightly more shield power, but B has got an extra charge, so overall it's greater. Hull reinforcement package, which we're going to be doing in a minute. A field scoop, which I'm going to be stripping out when we go to combat. Again, a controller. I don't need any more, so I'm just going to sell that. A cargo rack, again. I'm going to have to turn this on to get rid of those. Let's just dump those. That means I can't. Oh, not that, sell this. I don't want it, so there's no point in having it on. So everything else I need and want so far. Right, so let's work this out. I'm lacking in thermal resistance, so I'm going to put the thermal resistance on the reactive surface armor. I really hope I've got enough materials for this, but again, I'm not looking to max this out. I just want to
make enough so I'm not an easy target if my shields go down. Yep, you're right. That's um, that's certainly a possibility. And if this goes, um, if this goes tits up, right. So we've maxed out our armor. I always press the wrong pissing button. Right, so we've got all plus resistances now on our armor. So we've got 18% across the board. Bard? Board? Armor rating of 55, and our armor health is higher than our shield. So that means if our shields go down for any reason, we've got enough time to, um, to run away. So for this whole reinforcement, I'm going to go heavy duty and pick up everything else which is why i went hunting for core dynamic components at the beginning of the video and i appreciate i forgot to put a special effect on the armor so i'll go back and do that in a minute Call anyone's commander name um, that I'm aware of. If I did, it certainly wasn't on purpose. Unless it was a compliment, in which case, yeah, I absolutely did it on purpose. First of all, let's see what we can use. What can we actually, oh, for God's sake, I did it again. Right, so we're at 30% across the board with a really strong armor rating. So what do we actually need for our armor? What special effect? Let's start with armor. Yep. I know that feeling precisely. So a special effect. If it cost me 3% for a 20, 3% across the board on all of my resistances, but it will get me another 28% on my hull. Or I could lose some hull and max out my thermal well to be fair the vast majority of weapons that get fired at you when your shields go down are lasers and missiles so if your shields are down you want maximum missile protection so i'm going to put layered plating on this one And I'm going to balance it out with the hull boost that I just lost by putting deep plating on this one to bring back what I just lost. So hopefully that will have... Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm going to punch myself if I do that again. Brilliant. So I've got 30% across the board all resistances and I'm no worse off on my total armor health than when I started. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is this ship completely engineered. So we just need to pop back to... 
Rata Desra to pick but pick up my fighter bay because I've got one of those. And then we can go and see see what's what. See how good this ship does or doesn't work. So I've got a top boost speed of just over 500, which for PVE is by far enough. Disengaging automated flight control routine. And as a, a quick sneak preview. Um, so, this is how fast my plasma fires. Now, of course, so I got off four shots before my temperature went critical, but in theory, as I'm firing, I'll have my beam lasers on target, mitigating the heat. So, if you imagine, the heat is irrelevant for a moment, I'm firing. this fast all of the time with unlimited plasma or at least that's the plan <laughs> Don't make Frontier nerf it. <laughs> yeah, who knows? Uh, there's nothing. Yeah, who... I wouldn't say it was overpowered. Certainly not for PvP. PvP, if you can keep your beam lasers on target for long enough to keep up that rate of fire, then you, well, you deserve everything that um, every bit of that weapon brought. I've never fought a PvP pilot that would stay still long enough to let me do that. PvE, on the other hand, I'm hoping I'm going to rake them to pieces. Only time will answer that question. Let's see what happens. Then, of course, I've got the shield cell banks on this as well. The th again, the theory behind that is that Actually, I'm going to set this up slightly different. Take that off. A shield cell bank at the same time as the beam lasers in place of a heat sink. I want to do that. So I want one where they're all on. Sorry about that, you get to hear my um, inner, inner thought monologue as we go along.
takes so bloody long to get anywhere in this bloody game as well. All I want to do is strap my fighter to the ship. close I can get to the periphery of the sun, stay in scooping range for longer. Yeah, I certainly was. a um, When I first signed up to PSN a very, very, very long time ago, I was a huge Street Fighter fan. Um, genuinely wish that we could change our um, online gamer tags. I wouldn't have the same one now. I certainly don't dislike Akuma, um, but it's not what I would choose to have these days. For anyone that's bored enough to hear it, um, reason PlayStation cannot change gamer tags like Xbox can is because the content ID licenses to your online purchases are directly tied to your gamer tag I guess PSN as opposed to your membership number as where Xbox it's it's um, it's linked to a specific account number so it doesn't matter what your gamer tag is um, your account number is what all of your content is attached to. So it was just a bit of um, poor, poor database building by Sony in the first instance, which means that we can never change our PSN names. I mean, there are numerous ways around it, but they, they have no motivation to, um, to do it. PlayStation has launched a voice attack um, piece of software. PlayStation has voice recognition. I don't see why the voice attack software cannot be added to PlayStation. I guess one of the reasons could be simply they're waiting for voice attack to approach them with a software build. Do you recommend that I purchase Elite on my Xbox? Is the game enjoyable? Oh, that is a very um, subjective question. I absolutely love space games. I love the games that take you through the long burn. Um, don't necessarily agree with the way the game economy is currently set up, but if you like a game that takes a while to complete, I say complete, you can't physically complete it, but if you like unlimited things to do, and you like interacting with other players, both on a um, aggressive um, PvP level and in a cooperative level, then yeah, this game um, this would be for you. If you're looking for a quick win, if you're looking for things to happen instantly, um, then I'd probably recommend that No Man's Sky, with its newest update, might be might be more your cup of tea.
<laughs> no, there are no huge clan wars you can um, participate in. The game has what's known as community events, which are specific scenarios set up by the game developer that attract a lot of people to participate in player on player combat. And at the end of this year, um, something called Squadrons is being introduced. So at that time, yes, the clan wars that you refer to will probably start. Um, but as it stands today, right now, no, there aren't any. land it properly for once rather than doing it the lazy way. Yeah, well that's why we have a docking computer. Yes, you're absolutely right. So, um, this game caters for exactly that just kicking about, doing whatever you want. Right, so let's um, sell that. I don't want that. And in its place. Where did I have it? Was it here? No. Did it have in a size 6 slot? Sorry, I'm talking to myself again. Um, no, I haven't played with the Challenger in, um, in, in PvP yet. Um, I'm currently taking out the crate for the first time. Um, I've just finished engineering it to a standard that I like. Right, so let's see. So I've got, 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 and got. That's all I really need for combat. I'm not going to fill it up for the sake of it. No, definitely don't get the herm. Um, definitely don't get just the base game. Go for the Horizons pack because you'll get Horizons and the new Beyond Season. If you get just the base game, you'll regret it because you'll be missing a significant amount of content. Right. We can't have a plain looking Imperial fighter. That would never do. Paint job. Gladiator red, please. Front decal combat. Combat, combat, weapon colouring is red to match my own, engine detail is red to match my own. Yeah, you won't have engineers either and they are pretty much integral to the game now cannot see how the game could be played efficiently without the engineers. It can certainly be played. Should really get an affiliate link and put it on my channel. <laughs> then I can be greedy greedy. 
Right, anyway, so, got, 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 dun, dun, dun. Just need to hire in a my pilots. I'm good to go. Did pick up the right one there, didn't I? Lyndon Cock. What an absolutely spectacular name. Lyndon fucking Cock. Right. There is a system very close by with a compromised nav beacon. I'm sure it's H R something something something. This one. I don't know that one, this one. Am I trying to take me there? I don't want to go there. Thank you. Right, let's get out and see if my um if my plan works. Going for a compromise nav beacon first because then I could choose my targets. If I go to a um, combat zone, or maybe even has res, I get less control over who attacks me. So I'm gonna try and fly a little bit cautious to start with. I'm also conscious that I've got my highest ranked NPC pilot with me. Okay, granted, it's, it's dangerous, but still, that's. Uh, Nearly a nearly 100 million credits worth of um, time I've put into. I don't want to be too wasteful. Also going to test the theory about whether or not the premium plasma slug trick, I guess you could call it, works as well. So if I've got enough materials up, that is, I'm going to load synthesize premium ammo into my plasma launchers, and then in theory, plasma slug slug should automatically reload onto the premium and that will remain until I dock at a station at which point in time the effect will be taken off didn't used to be but um, Frontier changed that yeah compromise now beacon perfect <sighs> of course when I say changed I mean nerfed because that's what Frontier does was a bit broken if I'm honest. I think I'm going to start off with a fire group where all the weapons are on the same mount. Of course my frameshift drive will now turn off. Cargo hatches off. 
Docking computer off. Oh, I'm exactly 100%. Inventory. Missions. Synthesis. So I've got three possible reloads because my technetium is not low. So bearing in mind that I lose 10% for my plasma slug by loading in 30% damage ammo. getting back to 20% right so let's see if this premium ammo stays on Or whether, how will I know? Right, anyway, bottle looking now. So this guy's elite, so he is by default going to be wanted, but he's in a wing of three. It's a little bit more than I wanted to take on for my first go. Let's have a look at this challenger. He's wanted, but naturally, of course, in a wing of three. So let's pick on this type six because I'm a um, and brave, honest. Clean, fertilance. Clean. Take on this eagle. Right, so this eagle is going to be my first target, so let's um, see what happens. So, well that worked well. When I say worked well, I mean didn't work well. So that particular weapon configuration isn't working. So I'm going to swap it over to individuals. So if I can get myself nice and cold with these beam lasers, and then oh, and he's dead. <laughs> okay, so that was a learning experience. So you can't fire both of them at once. get ourselves nice and cold and then juice and hit the bees and then mess with the plasmas that's the plan
170% heat. Get in. This is working exactly not the way I planned it. Oh shit, I entirely forgot about that. See how I get on against the wing man. Yeah, so look, the um the premium ammo remains on the plasma slug. You don't um, wear it out. So who's fighting who here? Ah, screw it. See what happens. better against larger ships than it is against um, small little manoeuvrable things because I can consistently land more hits with the beams to dissipate the heat. I'm taking hull damage, Commander. I'll shift your ass then, you useless twat. So we're down to one ring now. So this is where we find this guy here. Where have we got? Try and mitigate the heat from the shield cell bank with the beam laser.
shields are gone now, so this is why we um, engineered our hull. So, I think this is actually quite a decent build. The, um, the primary problem is the, <laughs> the person between the keyboard and the seat. But we're not doing anything more with 7% hull, so let's just get back to base and assess our options. Weapon loadout is three plasma accelerators with rapid fire modification. So a super high rate of fire. In a, and in a desperate attempt to mitigate the heat, I've got two medium sized efficient beam lasers with thermal vents. The plan was if I could keep the weapons on target, the, um, the heat would be mitigated, but um, seemingly not. I wonder if turrets would have worked better, because the turrets would stay constantly on target, as opposed to the beams. Hmm. Then I would be always, always, always losing heat. Have any turrets with thermal vent already, and I can't be asked to make any. That involves flying all the way out to um, Bruce Tarquin, and he is not close. would be a fantastic loadout. I was just um, trying something different. Although I do feel quite butthurt that I got raped by a couple of... Um... Yes, unless your target uses chaff. There's always that possibility. Uh, because I'm quite grumpy that those um, NPCs effectively kick my ass in what can only be described as medium class ships. I'm, um, I'm going to go and get some revenge on them to make myself feel better. Show them how real ships do business.
Yeah, they're yeah. also hit scan weapons, which means that um, if you fire at exactly the right time and you're on hitboxes, you're guaranteed a hit. I have a anaconda called the Space Cannon, which has got seven rail guns on it. <laughs> it's, um, it's utterly ridiculous, but it's, it's quite a lot of fun. You might feel better if you find the next <laughs> Meta Ally missions. Um, in in relation to money grinds, I'm always always looking. Um, but at the moment, um, having scoured pretty much everywhere in the bubble, there is still currently nowhere better than Maya. But it has to be in Boom. Um, anything else simply won't do. And you have to be at least friendly with all of the minor factions before the missions will start to spawn regularly. Now, of course, people in the comments have said, oh, well, I I found the missions and I showed up and I didn't have any rank. Yes, they will occasionally spawn when your rank is lower than friendly, but they will regularly spawn when your rank is friendly or higher. Um, of course, Rubigo Mines, I have never personally done that, but enough high-profile YouTubers have covered Rubigo Mines that um, you are spoilt for choice. Um, which one to watch and how to complete those and again you can um, thermal spread on thrusters power plant manage the heat yeah that would do it power plant I've got armored um, yeah thermal spread yep I've already got that um, thrusters of course naturally I went for drag drives because it does but I think you're right I think um, I think that thermal spread might be more valuable than the extra bit of um, bit of boost, but just because I don't like to be made a fool of, I'm going to go and show that combat zone how um, how real ships take care of things, or ships that I'm good in at least. Now this ship uh, is the mighty Solarco, um, and it is it is godlike in its power. There's no other way. But I won't dribble on about it. I'll just show you. If my control pad decides it wants to work. Right, so unlike the crate that we were just flying, this ship has 4,665 shields with 66% kinetic resistance, 55% thermal, and 72% explosive health on the shields. Armor health, 5,197 with 57% resistance against kinetic. 56% resistance against thermal and 48% against explosive, making it, and I quote, a tough son of a bitch. Fighters on board. Yes, prismatic shields. Nothing but the best on this ship. Everything is as good as it can be.
So I've not entirely abandoned the crate. I just want to make myself feel better by taking out <laughs> a, a wing of three because they piss me off. So I've seen that um, Down to Earth Astronomy have his. Um, oh, tell me, apologies if the stream goes a bit wonky. I've just got a message flashed on my screen telling me that um, my internet's going a bit wonky. So if it um, if it collapses, I will just. Um, I will start the stream again. I think it's just a temporary blip. So this guy is elite. Right. This is how we make ships go away. So I must have tagged someone by accident because pretty much everyone is firing at me. So I'm just going to jump out so the clean ship stop firing at me because I can't be asked to get notoriety. Said I was in that com. Said I was in that combat. Compromising that beacon. It was odd.
again. Cobra Zero is um, fun for battering. Think about cobras. Ah, my friend, the elite challenger. The one who nearly killed us last time and made us jump away in the crate. Let's um let's see how it goes this time. Remember me? Mm -hmm. So cocky this time, are you? Diamondback Scout. Good luck with that, mate. You can catch a little shit, that is. Let's, um... Yeah, I don't really need to ignore. I need to bother with shields. They'll take care of themselves. Oh shit, I forgot about it. Again, I forgot about this. Bloody, absolutely hate these unless I can catch them on the hop. Come 
as a challenge. Something good. <laughs> An elite cobra. What are you? You are a deadly anaconda. And you're wanted, and then you're in a wing of three. Time to die. Almost got through my shields. Cheeky bugger. So we're just doing a quick reboot because with prismatic shields taking so long to recharge it's simply quicker to do it this way and my shields will boot up at 50% power. There you go. We'll put everything into shields whilst we look for our next target.
that's how I'm used to killing NPCs without too much trouble, too much effort. I've gotten lazy in the small ships, I guess. Would you even bother? Take this guy out just because he's elite, it'll be good for my combat rank. <laughs> please, please, please be wanted, Sidewinder. Oh, damn it. I want what Muppets attack him. Oh, fuck's sake, it's because I'm wanted. <sighs> Piss off. Go to my um, go to station in this area, which is CD something or other. <laughs> yes, the video definitely says a crate. I was in the crate earlier. Um, it got a bit of a pasting, so I was just showing the difference between the crate and other ships that you could choose. Um, I am going to go and get the crate again and have another go.
get us a nine and a half bounty cleared, so we haven't got people chasing us around for no reason. So once I get the crate back, I'm considering considering swapping the gimbaled beams for turreted beams. Or oh, is that a bad idea? Turreted would stay on target longer, thus dissipating the heat more. But they're not really in the best position, sat under those um, pylons. So. I'm figuring that they'll only be good 50% of the time while the target's below me. So a gimbaled might be just as good. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. No docking computer on the Corvette, we have to do it um, all by hand. Clear are fine. And then collect our bounties. So it was a bit profitable. Not very, but enough.
to back to base and we'll get the crate out again. So this weekend um, there will be the usual giveaway of at least 100 million credits to three lucky commanders via pre-completed wing missions which I will do before the stream and then I think I am going to go for a guide to Rubigo's mind Rubigo minds for beginners so like I said plenty of high-profile YouTube um, personalities shall we call them have covered Rubigo Mines um, but all of their videos are quite cut so it says go here do this get allied so I'm just going to show the whole thing so as a complete novice showing up for the first time how long does it take to start getting those missions profitable um, and the answer to that is I have absolutely no idea I've never done it before um, because I'm not really in need of money, but I am in need of knowledge, so I'll um, I'll have a go, see what happens. Shit, 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 don't crash into him. Bollocks. What are you just sat there for? Thank you very much, Commander, for shifting out the way. Right, 24, 24, 24, where are you? There you are.
Right, I don't think there's anything else I can put on this crate that will um, make me a better pilot. Or at least make me look better. I wonder if there's anyone... No, there's no one... Um... No one in range that fancies blowing me up, so can't do any PvP. You might just get to see some PvP. Before we do that, oh, it's already turned off. has randomly turned off my crew despite the fact it says it's active
So it looks like this chap's got it then. His multi cannons completely outclass my um my skill with a plasma accelerator. Right, let's see if he keeps his word and actually stops fighting at Would be reasonably embarrassing if I um survived that and died on the way in. Landing pad. Well, I think that says more about my PvP skills than it does um, than it does about the ship build. Right, so I think I'm going to leave it there for the night now. I've been broadcasting for two hours now, so you've seen the crate in combat against um, PVE enemies um, again, and with a pilot that's not the best and you've seen a pilot in combat pvp again that chap and his multi cannons were gimbaled he had a better setup than me and he absolutely deserved to win and um thank you very much to that commander i'll just name him commander um tem Neist for being good to his word and ceasing the fight at 20%. Um, good man, not, not a lot of pilots do that, so kudos for you. So once again, I will be streaming this weekend, most likely on Saturday. Um, there will be the usual 100 million credit giveaway to three lucky commanders on PlayStation 4. Um, hopefully help you along your travels. And then I will be heading off to Robigo Mines for the very first time to see what the fuss is, see what is required to rank up and earn some money there. 
and I'm going to do it in my Python. I'm not going to take the cutter because not everyone has access to a cutter, so I'm going to do it in a ship that people could reasonably have access to. In fact, taking the taking the 100 million credits I'll be giving to a commander and that a Python is 63 million, you could effectively do it off the bat. But until then, thank you for watching this evening and watching my terrible, terrible piloting skills. Um, I hope you've had a lot of fun. If you have, feel free to give the stream a like. Um, certainly helps um, helps me out, um, helps YouTube out, helps me out in YouTube, however you want to describe that. But until Saturday, I will see you all later, and thank you very much for watching.